What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Last episode was a two hour of power, so if you guys did not check it out, go do that because it is a very important episode. Lots of things happened. If you don't check it out, then you are missing out. Uh, I card up above if you have not seen it. Anyway, hopefully you guys are all, like I said, having a fantastic day. Um, recently, we have just hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you, everybody, for making us hit that. That is insane to think about. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and grab the Mon that we need to grab from the PC, which would be our dear friend, Mega Mewtwo X. And we're going to do a, a quick uh, team recap here, because uh, recaps are good, especially after uh, a lot of things. So again, spoiler alert. If you don't want to be spoiled, click that i card. You can watch the video instead, so I gave you extra days on purpose for that reason. Uh, but yeah, so team recap time. Because yeah, because that's why I skipped off a Monday and Tuesday's episode to give you like a full four days to watch those episodes. So anyway, we got, or that two hour power, because this is basically four episodes in one. We got Fitta, because it's going to Fitta sweep with Spotum Geyser Discharge Waterfall Moon Blast. Joey, the youngster Joey himself with low sleep. Secret Power, Darkest Lariat, and Storm Throat. We got Sophie with the Brutal Swing, Topsy Turvy, Dragon Claw, and Darkest Lariat. We got Nick with Photon Geyser, Moon Geyser Beam, Earth Power, Amnesia. We got the new mon to the squad, Cassandra, who is an amazing person who deserves the love and support with Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Sparkling Aria, and Core Enforcer with the Infiltrator ability, which means Substitute is not a problem. And then lastly, we got Aaron. With the full metal body again, cycle cut, cross chop, earthquake, and aqua tail. But yeah, hopefully, like I can say you guys are all having a fantastic day. Also, I have something fun for you guys. So obviously today's an encounter episode, so that's always a fun thing. But secondly, um, hold on, I don't even know who to put in the front of the encounters episode. I'm gonna go ahead and put Nick in front, I guess. No. Actually, Cassandra. Cassandra is a little put in front. Okay, anyway. But what I was going to say is that before the finale, I am going to be doing a Genlock Marathon. What is that? A Genlock Marathon. People, I've not seen any. Uh, see, I'm trying to be innovative. I've not seen anybody do this before. But because I do live finales, I figured, why not go live with the entirety of the series leading up to the finale, and then, boom, the finale would happen in a separate stream probably the next day. Um, because, you know, we're getting super close. It's kind of crazy, but it's so, it's so that everybody can catch up on this splendiferous series. It's kind of crazy. The way the series went and how everything kind of decided it wanted to run its course. Between the fact that we had month lock in between this series. We had a lot of things happen. So I figured, you know, the best thing to do would be to, you know, bring out all the stops on what I would say is probably my best series ever. Also, my encounter. Uh, especially because, you know, it's crazy. Per, per, purloin. Okay. That's that's very underwhelming. Um, but hey, it's Gen 5, I guess. You know what? We could make the argument that it's Gen 5, so therefore it's not bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit you up in a dive or a Ultra Ball. Um, but yeah, like, Soglock is coming up after this. I'm going to get the art for it, get everything set up for it. It's going to be really fun and amazing. Um, and I honestly can't wait. We're going to be starting with blue. Uh, so yeah, going back to Gen 1. And uh, watch. How uh, how much do you want to bet that we are going to finish before Gen Race? I am challenging Ryan and Frank to a race. Kind of. I'm not going to maintain the same schedule. I'm going to figure out what I kind of want scheduling wise. But I think that I can be faster than Frank and Ryan in my own solo series than in Gen Race. Because, you know, Soglock? Soglock is a completely different kind of series than everything else. But 
again, it it's a riff off of Monthlock, but it's solo by myself. Things carry more, and we get to explore everything. And it's kind of like an anime journey almost. But anyway, we're gonna name this thing Oppy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uppy the Purloin. Um, and we can actually see the summary, even though we're probably never going to use this thing. It doesn't really matter. It's got stench. Oh, it's gross. I think actually Aaron's also had stench, which is kind of ironic um, and hilarious at the same time. So, but yeah, I am going to challenge Frank and Ryan. I mean, I I do have the advantage because I just come off came off of Mudflog, so I know exactly where to go and how to get there. Um... But hey, at least I won't take 26 episodes to freaking beat Kanto. Um, cough, cough, cough. Um, no, actually, I, I say that, and then it will take me that long. <laughs> and yes, there is a massive difference between a versus style video and a not versus style video, where mine's like Nuzlocke's, so it's not even a versus style, but like, it's... It's a Nuzlocke carryover, basically. So I get to carry over one Nuzlocke, all the way through all the way through so i like the idea because carrying over a nuzlocke and because it because uh, you know in gen race you had to re you they basically restart not and they're just going to the next game doing another nuzlocke of that whereas mine isn't it's one consistent flow so and like theirs is too like for sure and i i love gen race gen race is one of my favorite series is on youtube right now i'm not even gonna lie um, I try to get invested in that every day, um, because, you know, it's Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, yes, I know the upload schedule, it's just, it's crazy, but anyway, no, but Saga Lock, I, I have an idea of what I want my upload schedule to be, but it really depends, because I want, there's a couple things that I want, um, one, a full-time Soul Link, um, after versus or cage lock, whichever one finishes first. Um, and then a part-time series, which is a two episode a week series. And then my solo series, which is three episodes. I, I want to have a three episode a week solo series. If I can get that, that'd be phenomenal. I mean, I know I could, but I don't want to take it at all. Um, even though that's, I probably necessary and I should do that. Um, so, I mean, I'm like thinking like, logically about a whole bunch of different situations and scenarios and honestly oh i thought that said i thought that said something i thought that was entered out and i was gonna be like no but no like honestly i know what i bought my my anticipated upload schedule is gonna be for the series um and i can tell you right now uh it's monday monday wednesday and then friday because Monday, I don't have anything. Wednesday. Um, is currently a slot that's for nothing. And then Friday also is nothing in the slot. So, because Monday, Wednesday, Friday are free, that'd be good, I, in my opinion. But... I've also thought about doing Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday as well, considering that my full-time Soul Link, or wait, what? Sunday? That doesn't make sense. Hold on. I have no idea. I Let's be fair. Um, just because I know my episode, because uh, Soul Link... Or, yeah, no, 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 I'm being dumb. It's Sunday, Tuesday, Friday is what I was thinking. There we go. There we go. Sunday, Tuesday, Friday is what I was thinking. So that that way, I, if I did do a full-time solo with somebody, it'd be like, I'd have Monday, Thursday, and they'd have Tuesday, Friday. You know? Because those are usually the days that they would go. Um, and, you know, that's kind of what I've been thinking. Like, some, if I'm going to do that, and then I have... So it would be Sunday, Saga Lock, Monday, Soul Link. If I have one, which I'm not going to, more than likely. But Monday, then Tuesday would be Saga Lock. 
And then Wednesday has an X through it, basically. Um, Thursday is my versus day. Friday would be another Soul Lake episode. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that would be assuming versus would be done. Yeah, there's so many things that I have to work out and figure out. Um, but I have just I know what days I want to keep open. I know what I think that um, Sunday, Tuesday, Friday is going to be the best upload schedule for that series. If I do that, because there's like three episodes a week. That's a lot more manageable. Um, also, with a consistent schedule like that, that's not like Monday, Tuesday. Because like, right, this series is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. And it's just weird. Um, so I think that having the three days that are spread out like that is going to be so much more beneficial. Um, and I think that it will provide a lot more of an exciting time for a series like that. So you're like, okay, every Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday is... Yeah, that sounds great. And then once Versus is over, because Versus is almost over, that it would be Monday and Thursday for a Soul Link. Um, yeah, like a Monday... Monday... Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and I'd have Monday and Thursday, like, you know, and then obviously Wednesdays and Saturdays are cage lock, um, and I've loved that schedule with Aaron, and I think that schedule with Aaron should continue to be that way, just because it's actually a really good schedule, and I like it, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get our other two encounters before, kind of crazy, other, there's two more encounters that we get to go ahead and get, Pony Breaker Coast. Our Pony Breaker Coast encounter is going to be. I really thought we were getting something. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, no, I think that's actually a very beneficial schedule. Um, so yeah, so our Pony Breaker Coast encounter is a Mega Bayonet. Let's freaking go. Um, Generation 3, always very beneficial to have. Um, Psychic Surge, even better. Um, the Battlefield has gotten weird. Yeah, Battlefield likes to do that. Making jokes. Is always fun. Um, we're down to 7 max questions. You know what? I'm glad today's an encounter episode because I completely forgot that, that was a thing. Um... So, this is going to do absolutely no damage. Mega Bayonet, though. Not even bad. I'm not even going to lie. Like, seeing that is very exciting. I can actually Nest Ball you, which is perfectly fine with me. Um, but, yeah. So, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about that upload schedule for a solo series. Sunday, Tuesday, Fridays. I, I, like I, said, I personally like it. But if you guys don't like it, then obviously I would want to change it. Make it better and more beneficial for you guys. Um, like I said, I'm formulating a plan. Now that I'm at 1K, like, this is a pivotal, or pivotal moment in the channel. And this is now, you know, I've defined myself as a content creator and what I want to be and how I want to be. Now I can execute it because I love having the inclusive audience. That's my favorite part about being a creator is how inclusive my audience is, right? Like... Literally, anybody can come in and come in and watch and be like, oh, this dude's cool, and he's nice, and he's just does all of this stuff that is so beneficial to the community. Because, And I think that's what I, I like being beneficial. I don't like tearing things down. I don't like being a burden or being bad or being delinquent or being, being a delinquent. And so the fact that I can be good... And be like a positive force is great. Um, and you know, I want to continue being that positive force for the community. But anyway, um, so yeah, we're going to get this encounter, the next encounter, talk to Hapu, and then go back, and then end the episode. And then the episode after that is going to be the three, the, the Executor, Statics, and Plumeria. So we got one, two, three... Four. Wow. 
We're we're actually on the lower end of the spectrum here. We don't have that many encounters left or uh, episodes left. I'd venture to say that we've got about yeah, like I said, two weeks of the series. It's definitely gonna be in the 40s by the end of this for sure. This is episode 34. There's no way it's not. Oh boy. But I think the shorter upload situation is nice. Oh, also, Soglock will be a test series as well. Um, I'll be testing YouTube and algorithmic stuff. Um, naturally, because of course, who wouldn't test algorithmic stuff? Do I actually want to catch this thing? Well. Oh, I could be using dive balls too. Um, something to think about. Do I want to catch it? Oh, critical capture. <laughs> uh, like, I see, I know the animation now. It's definitely weird that I know the animation like that, so. Mega Bane is on the team. No, it's not. Not not yet. But if something that dies is from Generation 3. Uh, so that'd be if Sophia dies. I mean, I don't want that to happen. So let's give Bane a nickname. I saw... Somebody in my comment section that has a it would be a great nickname for Bayonet. It was Jamie. Thank you for commenting on the Hood Hood video. And let's go ahead and see your stuff. Oh wait, no, I know what your ability is. Never mind. I knew it, and I just was like, oh, let's see the summary. It's like, no, you know it. You don't need the summary, but okay. So. Yeah, no, we got the one in, yeah, I mean, it's crazy, like, how close everything is at this point, and then we move up here, and then it's just something else, right? Agent Pony Path, yep. Awesome, so, our encounter for Agent Pony Path is a Froakie. I know what I'm naming this. I know exactly what I'm going to name this, and I was, I'm just going to say that one of my viewers is going to be very happy about this. Second off. This person is also in the Discord, um, and his mascot is actually the full or fully evolved form of this. So he's definitely gonna be very happy. Hi, Dro Cannon. That's almost like my least favorite move in the game. Um, but yeah, I know we're gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball this. This is gonna be super easy. Froki though, not even gonna lie, not mad about that at all. Um, bop. Let's go! Okay. Yes. Nice catch. Intrepid, the Froakie, which is going to be a Greninja if we lose our thingamabob. Um, I'm not even going to look at its ability, considering its ability would change anyway. But in Intrepid. All right, there's no reason to look at it. But it's a nice Gen 6 mod to put in the back as a backup. Um, and actually, we're going to end this episode at a very, very decent pace. And I am very proud of that, for sure. It definitely helps when we can be continuing on pace for these episodes. Because then it doesn't feel like an insane jaunt or anything. It just feels like normal. Um, like, the two hour of power was an insane video that I don't think will be happening for a long time. Like, I give mad respect to Vinny and Frank for even doing a three hour of power because whole, I don't even think I could have. There's absolutely no way. Like, I think a lot of it, and Frank and Vinny actually talked about this, is the fact that when you do a live stream, you're prepped to go for a long time. You have the audience interaction. You have a lot of stuff. And so because your mind is prepped for that, it's like, okay, cool. But in something like Genlock, my episodes are anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes on the average. So when I see 20 or like when I when I'm recording and it's already like 30 some odd minutes, it feels long. And, you know, it's not that long, but it's also like in my in your brain, it's way longer because 
And it's not because you don't have fun, and it's not because like 30 minutes just is longer now and it's longer in recording it's just you're not your brain's not actively thinking about the 30 minute mark like i can't believe it's already been 20 like it's only been 20 minutes it feels like it's been a lot longer but that's also because there's this has been an encounters episode and for me encounters episodes are a lot less um they're a lot less of a episode that i worry about so i'm just like okay cool like, I'm very chill right now. I'm just talking a lot. I'm just talking loud. That's literally the difference. But yeah, so, Hapu, we appreciate you being you. And Hapu's going to talk about being stuff and doing stuff. And then we're going to end the episode. So while Hapu's talking, I just want to let you guys know that you guys are all wonderful, amazing specimens. Make sure, if you guys are new, to smash that subscribe button. Because that subscribe button is going to help out the channel considerably. All we need is a few more watch hours. And we will be a monetized YouTube channel. Um, so it's amazing to even see that. Uh, now we're on the push to 1.25k. Um, and I think we can do that. If we can, uh, can we hit 1.25k by my birthday? That, I'm, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a test, but I think we can do it. I mean, 1.25k by my birthday, like, my birthday's October 21st, I think we can do it. Um, but yeah, I know. Hapu is gonna just talk about Hapu stuff, and yeah, next time you see us, once this thing plays, we will be in the Pokemon Center awaiting our time for Executor Island. We get th four encounters there, so it's going to be nice. We're going to get a flute, and we are going to fight Plumeria. We're going to make sure that Plumeria's got a decent level, or if we have to train or anything. I believe Plumeria were like on par for her, so that's a little scary, but... You know, I would rather be on par than be super madly overleveled. Um, because the, the, whatever it is, it's going to be level 66. The um, totem, uh, thingy, this, the thingy, I can't think of what it's called, but yeah. Definitely insane. But yeah, so they're going to talk. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Um, let me know how it's been going, what's been happening. Um, I'll be responding to every comment like usual. Um, and yeah, no. I love you all. Peace out, everybody.